is what we have here is an Acer I believe it's R7 take a look exactly at the model number it is R7571 series laptop it's the one that looks like the Star Trek uh, Enterprise so a weird looking laptop with weird looking uh, top so <clears throat> what we have here is a battery replacement okay so in order to do the battery replacement we're gonna need a couple of tools we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver we're gonna need a hex driver and that is T9 for those who don't have the tools this <coughs> this kind of tool can be purchased at Home Depot we're gonna need some kind of a pry tool most importantly we're gonna need a timer all right so flip it over I have taken the obvious screws out so screws that go along uh, around the perimeter take those out there's two more screws here so we'll take those out all right now there's three more screws hidden here for that we're gonna need a pry tool and just pry the uh, this rubber foot up a little bit and then carefully peel it okay it's gonna be tougher to peel than this don't pull it hard same goes for this little foot here so we're just gonna pry it up and take it out all right so we have three more screws exposed let's use our hacks they're all hacks now this part is most likely easy um, to do to get the screws out get the bottom off okay so just lifts off like that here is the battery for battery we're gonna need a Phillips head there's two screws I don't know why there is only two screws on here there's place for three screws <coughs> there's only two screws here okay next we're just gonna lift the battery out and disconnect it okay uh, the battery lab goes label side down so I'm going to take a new battery and place it. So again, label side down, slide it in like so. Okay, that's part straightforward. Aside from the screws being hidden, battery is not difficult to replace on this laptop. What is difficult is that this laptop will not work, will not recognize the battery, okay? If you look, there is a tiny little hole in a tiny little battery icon or picture. What we need to do is if you look on the bottom, here is the switch for it or a button for it right here. We need to use our timer and push that button. Make sure that the power cord is disconnected. Okay. We're going to push the button for four seconds. So go. All right. So I held it for five. Now we're going to let it sit for four minutes. If you don't let it sit for four minutes, the laptop will not start up. So while it's sitting, 
we're going to reassemble the computer. Now, reassembly of this computer is a little tricky because of the springs that are pushing up here. You're going to need to make sure that those springs are pressed back in their positions. Okay, so push on this on the back of a laptop and put the hex screws for the springs first. and let's put our screws back in. There are several different sizes of screws. Make sure that the long ones go to the back and the short ones go to the front. Um, if you put the long ones in the front, it will pierce through the computer and make the top look ugly. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is put all the long ones in first and put the short ones in last. So I don't know why Acer decided to do it this way where your battery has to be reset and you have to sit and wait for four minutes kind of odd for a battery replacement but my conspiracy theory is that it's just a money maker for the manufacturer you replace the battery and uh, the computer doesn't work how about that So we have, oh, there's one more screw. We have all the screws where are they supposed to go. I'm going to use new glue to reattach the uh, feet. <coughs> so I should have set the timer for four minutes. All right, so now Let's see if it's going to power up off the battery. And it does. It lives. It lives. So as you can see, um, the computer works fine. If you don't do the reset, battery reset procedure, the computer will not work. Uh, in fact, on the inside, it will say battery not present, not charging, will give you all kinds of scare, um, scary things and uh, um, basically a simple thing is to reset the battery using that little switch on the back or I should say a button. Uh, you could do this afterwards, there is no need to re disassemble the computer. Um, there is a little pinhole and you would use a paper clip to hold it for four seconds and then uh, wait four minutes. So if we connect power cord, it says right now charging and the computer is happy. Hopefully this helps somebody. If you like it, give me a thumbs up like this. If you don't like it, give me nothing. Thank you for watching.